Knucklehead. <laughs> 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 Joe, did you hear about the uh, break in to the football? Uh, Football building and uh, my wife, my, you know, my wife works out every morning up there. She, so she comes home at six thirty. She said they vandalized the place. So I call a couple of people. I have not, you know, we got to come out here. I thought so. I don't. I, I know about it, but I don't. I don't know any details. So you don't feel like your office was damaged, or you don't know if your office any trophies or anything like that? I, I, honestly, goodness, I don't know. I, usually, you know, I would imagine that you called up there. Or, uh, Train again, or somebody would have had better information. I don't know. My wife was all upset uh, because the wind is broken. I guess there's a sizable amount of damage, mm -hmm. and the kid that did it was kind of a little bit out of whack, I guess. <laughs> they, I, I don't know. You know, I mean, I'm, you know, it's, it's, yes. but uh, it's unfortunate. You know, it's un so unnecessary. Coach, I know uh, Chris Bell pleaded guilty yesterday too. Have you? Spoken with them or interacting with them at all since no. since the whole incident? Any I advice you've given him? No, I, t I told him when it happened and I said, you know, you, you can't make it, you can't do it here, Chris. And I'll probably do it. Think about it. And I know start and learn from what happened. You can't take your frustrations out. And he was frustrated. And he wasn't playing the way he thought he could play. And he wasn't getting his, you know, it was a whole. Uh, uh, Scenario, I guess, would be the best word I want to put it happens. And so I, I just tried to tell him, hey, look, you know, none of us are perfect. You made a mistake. All right. Try to, to figure out what's best for you. And I said, I'll help you if you want to transfer. And uh, he's, I think he's going to go to Hampton Institute, which would be a good school for him. Joe, the other day at South Bend, you said you didn't want to talk about the ESPN outside the line, so you'd seen it, but they did put out a pretty extensive release today with some excerpts of it and that stuff. So, in view of that, would you like to say anything about the. I, mean, I don't know what to say. Well, you could be preemptive, I guess. Cause <laughs> well, I don't want to do that. I mean, if they, they want to, if they get closer, you know, we've had problems. I don't know if you want me to know. <laughs> Are we trying to handle them in the best way I think? I don't particularly want anybody else to handle them. I'm dealing with you. I'm just like you talk about a kid like Chris Bell. What do I want to do? Crucify him? I mean, you know, he, he, he was wrong. But I would hope we could help him, you know, step back from a mistake and go on with his life. Whether it's at Penn State or someplace else. Obviously, it can't be at Penn State. Right. So I don't want to get into that. I, don't, I, don't, I just don't want to tie my hands behind you know. I want to be able to handle each kid the best way I think I should for each one. The program is, is obviously very important, but no bigger than the people that are in it. And I think I have an obligation to the people that are in it. Is it because you think it's an unwarranted, unwarranted uh, report? I, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Did I say that? <clears throat> I didn't hear you say that. I was asking if you, if you, I didn't if you thought say, it was wrong. I said, I don't know. I said, that the, I said, we've had some problems. How you portray the problems, I, I, I haven't seen the show. You've had very few problems the last several months. Is that a trick to the leadership you have on this team? Everyone's been focused on the business they need to take care of? Oh, you know, keep your fingers mm -hmm. crossed. <laughs> you know, I don't know whether we, you're always going to have. So now you can't be dealing with a lot of kids. Uh, and this is not Penn State. You know, we're, we're out there with kids that are talking about an early signing. Kids 16, 17 years old, and everybody's chasing him. I feel like he's the greatest thing that's happened since peanut butter. And, you know, then he gets into college, and, he, and things don't go exactly right. And, he needs a little notoriety, does so, so I don't know. It's got, you're always going to have those guys. As I said, I hope I can always, you know, think them through and do what I think is best for the kid. Today's 18, 19, 20-year-olds, any different, you know, in the way they look at things and the same kids that, you know, in 1966? Well, I think the pressure on them is so much greater. You know, you guys, you were in the same boat. You guys are under the pressure of web, you know, the websites. You guys are, you know, you go to work and your editor says, hey, what happened? how come you don't have the story? Right? The website mob has created a story. 
no names, anything else. And you guys have got to, you got to adjust to it. I mean, we're all, we're all it's, it's unbelievable. And, you know, the presidential election to me is I sit back and realize that somebody says this, and then everybody has to get things on a website to refute it. No. We're in an information cycle, and I'm not in the media frenzy. And I don't mean that in necessarily a derogatory way, but we're in a, a thing where people want to know. They want to know. They just, you know, I get telephone calls from buddies of mine saying, How you doing? I just saw on the website. That's what the hell are you talking about? I don't even know what they're talking about at the time.